There'll be quite a number of new faces along Parliament Road. It's a blend of old-hand politicians making a comeback and quite a notable number of rookies settling into the old institution. I, John Paul Murigi. For an average 23-year-old fresh from college, John Paul Murigi's resume is already impressive. A former sand mixer at a construction site and a firewood hawker, Paul would be happy with a bump in status as he takes a seat as part of the new class and in a parliament with a long-standing tradition of taking in seasoned politicians and lawyers. But the numbers in the class of 2017 also show an intergenerational house. In the name of the Almighty God. Packing together an equivalent of grandfathers, fathers and their children. That order. In there are also experienced voices who will also sit in the red benches after a short hiatus. Uh, Amos Mohinga Kimunya. Kipipiri Member of Parliament Amos Kimunya will be among them. Also making a comeback as Ndarago MP is Jeremiah Kionya. Having been elected. Anglo leasing scandal whistleblower and three term former MP for Ntonyiri, Maoka Maore also returns as Igembe North Member of Parliament. Senator Chebeni Masi. In the Senate, ODM nominated Senator Mercy Chebeni is arguably the baby of the House. At 24 years, she will be the youngest serving senator. On the other hand, Professor Sam Ongeri sits as the father of the house. At 79 years old, he's only warming up for yet another long haul in active politics. He will be representing Kisi County for the next five years. And right beside him is nominated Senator Beth Mugo at 78 years old. Also in that class is Yusuf Haji, Garissa County Senator at 77 years. A number of former politicians have also returned to the Senate. Having been elected a member of the Senate. Samuel Pugisio, a former information minister in the Kibaki administration and who served in four parliaments since 1988, makes his way to the Senate representing West Pokot. To the people and Republic of Kenya. The former soft-spoken and assertive higher education cabinet minister Margaret Kamar is also back in national politics. She took an oath to serve as Wasingishu senator. Sheila Sindeo, NTV.